So hey guys, topic of today's vlog is ITV and firstly thank you to Mr. The Frisky Biker for actually alerting me to this because I had no clue but turns out me nearly getting killed by a lorry uh, was on ITV news and a motorcycle safety feature for Newcastle or Teesside or whatever. Um, so yeah, that was an interesting thing to have appear on your Twitter feed when you're in the middle of the North Sea on a cruise ship, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit infuriating, to be honest, to start with, because, you know, they didn't ask permission. I don't make my videos for money. I don't turn monetization off. I don't sell stickers. I don't sell t-shirts. I just make it for fun. And yeah, I, I would have given them permission if they had asked, let's say. So firstly, here's the clip. I cut it to the eight seconds they used. And there were a lot of comments on that video about me being calm. And to be honest, uh, I, was, I was kind of in shock, really. Um, here's what happened down the road after about three minutes. Oh, well, there goes the nice quick shortcut. I'll take the normal boring route then. Uh, stupid truck driver. Yeah, it's kind of like a delayed reaction to my training kicked in and I'm a bit in shock as to what happened, so... Yeah, I just wish they'd asked permission, to be honest with you. I would have gladly given it, I would have given them the raw 1080p footage, which YouTube hasn't garbaged up. Because YouTube makes footage look like garbage. It's perfect on your machine, perfect on the final rendered video, and then YouTube does something to it. So even 1080p, there's glitchiness and, yeah, not good. But I would have given them unwatermarked footage, you know, higher quality, permission. It's, but they just didn't ask. And I mean, it's not that hard to figure out where it was from because it's from YouTube. It had my huge watermark on the side of it. So I'm not quite sure why they didn't ask, and I mean, ITV aren't like a, exactly a small media organisation, are they? So I, I emailed them when I could get on decent internet, because yeah, it was satellite internet or 3G in the ports on the cruise. And I basically said, like, um, you've used my video, you didn't ask permission, I'm not too happy about it, I would have given you permission if you'd asked. Uh, I'd want some kind of compensation just to hurt you, but... As I said, I'm not in this for the money. So I said, you know, a donation to a motorcycle safety charity would be best. And yeah, about then I got a auto response saying, ah, oh, blah, 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 I'll get a reply in five days. Um, which I did, which was basically like, yeah, we forwarded it to them, wait another five days. And I've waited the five days and nothing's happened. They're just basically ignoring it now. So yeah, I'm not really sure what to do. I don't particularly, I'm not that bothered about it now. It's, it was a local news thing and they don't seem to want to play ball and do a donation to charity to say sorry. Uh, they just basically stuck clips off YouTube on their program and, you know, free media. They don't have to pay anybody to make it. I mean, cameras are expensive, but as I said, I do this for myself, not to get on the news one day for, you know, crashing or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I don't know what to do next with it and I don't know if I have any motivation to do it because they're obviously not going to play ball. And yeah, thanks again to Frisky for noticing. I wonder where else my video has been. And they didn't even choose the best video, to be honest with you. This is the one they should have chosen. What the fuck? Yeah. I swore in that one, and I was like, what the hell is that person doing? That's what they should have chosen, but yeah. I don't know, maybe they wanted to blame lorries. But I'd say, as long as you're careful around lorries, 95% of them are fine, it was just that one. As people said, he was probably left-hand drive, so he couldn't see me. Black road, black bike, even though I was wearing, you know, fluorescence. But, you know, I learned from that. I learned, you know, that I was right to keep checking my blind spots as I go around. Go around uh, roundabouts, just in case something like that happens again. But yeah, I, I guarantee if I featured their video featuring my video that I'd get a copyright notice within a few hours and that video and my video would be gone offline. 
it's just, you know, versus the giant kind of thing. So, yeah. Ah, look at that view. Lunchtime blasts are good around sunset. So yeah, I'll catch you guys and girls next time.